What's up, everybody? It's me, Crosspatch. Welcome back to my Madden 21 Pittsburgh Steelers franchise. Today, we are taking on the Buffalo Bills. And uh, we are 9-3 and three on the season. The Bills are 8-4. and four. And we are getting to the point in the season where starting to think about where we're going to land in the playoffs, if we land in the playoffs. Uh, we are still tied. Uh, I'm sorry, we're in first place, technically, in the AFC North. We are tied with Cleveland as far as record goes. Uh, but we've seen them once and we've beaten them once, so technically we have the, the tiebreaker there, and we're going to see them again. But uh, i got to tell you, these Bills have me a little nervous here. Um, yep. Josh Allen. He's going to be tough. He's going to be tough. So uh, we're just coming off a very depressing overtime loss. I'm leaving this auto alignment on default. We got beat uh, in overtime. I mean, there was a bunch of reasons why. But one of the reasons why... Uh, you know what? I'm leaving this on default also. Or what do I leave it on? Balanced. Uh, one of the reasons we got beat was because of a completely blown coverage uh, late in the fourth quarter. And I believe that was due to my defensive back scrambling around and trying to get where they were supposed to be uh, based on these uh, coaching setups I have. Uh, you know, I don't know if anything makes a difference, but we will try. We got to take, our defense has to step up on these guys. And I know I say that every game, but, but it's especially important here today, I think. I still have guys out of position. Gosh, and broken tackles. You should see Charles' face. He's looking at Broken him. tackles. And he takes it all the way down to the 32. Yeah, our last uh, for Buffalo, 43 yards. three of our last four games have gone into overtime. First and 10, just um, the 30. From the gun, it's Allen. Man, he is there just beating us. All right, so we're going to have, let's try a little zone here, I think. I cannot sit in a. I cannot uh, let him pick us apart like that. We've got to start getting pressure on them, or let's try this zone, maybe. I mean, is this going to be like the Josh Allen, like, uh. Hall of Fame coming out party? The numbers for him from a week ago, 16 carries, 61 yards. And to me, the goal is the exact same thing as last week. Get him the ball early and often. I, think I guess we'll find out. In this one. Yeah, I don't know. How do we stop him? A few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Allen and Knox teaming up there for Buffalo first down. They'll look to run with Singletary. All right. All right. Looking at this now, you got a couple more cracks here. This close, sneak it. I don't think even go into a huddle. Just line up, snap it, and fall in behind those guys into the end zone. All right, all right. Good job. Throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Third and goal. Stop him here, boy. It'll be a quite a some kind of small victory to hold them to a field goal here. There we go. Good job, Williams. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind. I apologize for my voice today if it's a little rough. I don't know how it's going to go. Was uh, digging out some Christmas decorations yesterday, and as usual, whenever whenever I'm around a lot of dust, I get a little sinus thing the next day. So only temporary, but I may need to clear my throat or take a little so uh, sip of coffee. Uh, as we're going here, so I apologize for that. Probably should be having some nice warm tea with honey in it, but uh, well, that's not really my thing. Uh, old Crosspatch is a little more of a black coffee kind of guy. 
All right, let's answer these guys. Here comes Ben. Uh, ben threw three interceptions last game. It was? No, it wasn't. His ratio was not good last week. He had a one touchdown, three interceptions. Uh, but uh, two of those were kind of in desperation as time ran out uh, in regulation and at the end of the game. Oh, boy. Oh, that has, yeah, that has to be interference. He was mugged. Yes. Yeah, we're going to accept so that. We accept it. Penalty flag for pass interference. And trying to avoid pass interference is so difficult. You're trying to slow down these skilled receivers, and somehow, some way, they make plays on the football, and sometimes you're there too soon. So I got a little bit of a shakeup on my offense here today. Uh, I have... Second and just about a few inches here. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know why. I've switched, uh, I've switched Smith Schuster and uh, Claypool. Just want to see what uh, either can do running some different routes here. And more significantly, I've got a, uh, I've got a uh, McFarland in as my number one halfback. So that doesn't mean Connor's not going to play. Connor's going to get a lot of carries. But, again, I kind of want to see, with a speedier halfback in there, uh, what we can do a little bit. Okay, let's see what we got here. Yikes. That wasn't good. And Pouncey's hurt again. Got to be smart with our play calling and stay in this game, because these... They're, uh, you know, if that first drive is any indication, they're going to be tough to stop. All right. All right. Pouncy. Oh, boy. Okay, so let's see. Put Dotson in there. I don't know where that leaves me at right tackle. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickels. All right, let's convert this. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And McDonald. Good job. Good job, good job. The Steelers picking up 15 yards there at a first down. Tomlin's happy. Keeping that opening drive alive, and they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down, they did. Big time pickup for them, and now I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone. Because the closer you mm -hmm. get to the end zone, the field can, gets condensed. Makes it ah. tougher to run those Yeah, that's one, uh, to run past people right that's now. one that uh, maybe Smith Schuster would have caught. I don't know. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. Here's second and so the reason getting McFarland in here is because I feel like our running game has been stagnant. And uh, he is a faster back. He's quicker. And, he'll go down at the and we'll see if it matters. We'll see if it makes a difference. Um, that second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. Yeah, I'm a little less enthusiastic about switching Claypool and Smith Schuster. There's Smith Schuster. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Let's not do anything dumb. Nothing dumb. He's got a first down. So here's a first and ten now down inside the twenty. Inside the red zone. Smith Schuster. Turn it up. Smith Schuster, that's complete. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. Oh, this is where I struggle with my play calling a little bit. 
this uh been on point on this drive hasn't it been very accurate got the ball down like this 10 yard line to in this to like the three yard line really condensed partner so if he's gonna throw the football that to be pinpoint here as I was gonna ask you about that field shrinks has to be sharper but it's been a good opening and then McFarland now they just want to see if they can cap it off with the bell ringer and put it in the end what do we got second and goal there seven yards and it's gonna be oh uh, boy okay when you look at the geography yeah. you're staring at this part of the field don't you always think of big backs carrying the football bruisers trying to pound it in instead do I want to challenge that corner over there? I don't know. Let's see. There we go. There we go. So that's a route that Smith Schuster usually runs. I don't know. We'll just evaluate this as it goes along. I don't know. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route. The throw, touchdown. Extra point put through by Boswell. And that makes it a six. All right, time to get that defense out there and stop these guys somehow. Boswell somehow. After the touchdown. This will make it into the end zone. And it will come out to the 25 as he will not attempt. Oh, what do we want to do? So here come I the guess let's go back to some pressure here, at least it's to start. They got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. Oh man, yeah, this is not good. Yeah, he's just gonna he's just gonna pick us apart, I think, if we play a man coverage here. Um maybe the catch and run good for twenty-four yards. Let's face it, that Maybe we hold the uh, surprise, the I blitzes mean, for some special situations here. We still got a four-man rush, and I still got a couple, uh, three of my best pass rushers. Jeez. Yeah, we got to get these guys off the field. I don't know how we're gonna do that. I gotta be more positive here. Pessimism, not getting me anywhere. That last catch short of the mark We're winning the game. Singletary here running out of the gun. And he'll get this pretty close All right. to the first down as he's tackled at the Steelers 37. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. I don't like this cover three, but I, I think that's what I got to do right now. Oh, boy. That was my fault. That was my fault. Bit on the play, play, play fake. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. There we go. Get that ball. That's what we need. We get run down by uh, the quarterback. All right. That's what we needed. We got to make this count now. Uh, let's see if we can grind it out on the ground a little bit. A ball being slick when there's rain or snow, any type of moisture. But when it's cold and dry like this, and it is cold, and it is cold. There's Connor. That way because you're not able to really grip it the same way. Your hands are cold and, and, and then the hits seem harder. So yeah, it's a lot more difficult. Maybe Connor will be a little motivated uh, sitting on the bench a little bit this game. 12 degrees. And he'll be close to a first down. I know he's going to complain <laughs> after this game if he doesn't get enough carries. A good carry and a first down by James Conner, and this Pittsburgh team is really hoping he's back in form because last year the entire Pittsburgh offense suffered without Ben Roethlisberger at quarterback. James mm. Conner with 715 combined yards, but in 2018, he was a Pro Bowl running back. Combined yardage that year, 1,470. Let's see. They're hoping for 2018 James Conner. It may be a bad idea to get uh, Mc to uh, have McDonald in here. I don't know. Here's second and but you don't know until you try. Last run. They run the counter. Ah. I tried to bounce that outside. 
track in this first half as they're going to stop it behind the line. And that is a bit of my uh, and it's third down. my own uh, lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all kind of flawed done. thought process when I have uh, McFarland in there because he is faster, and I'm thinking, what can I, you know, can I get a little extra out of him? Cripes. Let me get rid of that. And he'll just toss it away. All right. He throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. I think we got to go for this. We're not punting. We're no, we're not gonna punt. We're gonna go for this. And uh, yeah, I think we have to. What do I want? Try post wheel again. Oh boy. Fourth and 13. Yeah. Dumb decision. Dumb throw. Oh! <laughs> well, a little luck never hurts. A little luck never hurts. Your offense is ready to roll. Ready How to dare you, Ruffler Rafflesberger? Instead, self You're not a young man anymore. Rafflesberger will hand to Connor. And he'll be dropped at the 23 after a pickup of about four. Oh, boy. You realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls... Yeah, that was a dumb throw I made on that one, too. I don't know what I was thinking there. Inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it. You can do worse than a four -yard run. There we go, Connor. Good job. Get it down this time to the 17. Nice job there finding room to maneuver and he worked his Steelers football man, line up in an eye and come at him. Field position to start. The boy they've done a nice job taking advantage of it. Now they're just hoping to cap it off. On first down, There he goes. Result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running. And game. remember that this uh two yards this drive is off a turnover. So these are free points. Is he in? Touchdown All right. Steelers. James Conner with touchdown number seven. I was about to say uh because it's a turnover. They're three points and a field goal is fine. But uh, I like a I like a touchdown better. That makes me happier. But the blocks were made up front. Offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? All right, three minutes, three minutes, two seconds left in the half. Whoa. Here's the Buffalo and I guess we'll go back to, to the cover here. three. And they'll be looking to atone for last time's mistake of fumbling inside the red zone. Certainly they don't want to do that again. And so much emphasis placed on red zone offense. I mean, you have periods devoted in practice. All right. Just for that because everyone knows how vital Holding uh, Singletary under wraps a little bit here so far. And to come away with nothing. That's difficult for a team to handle. And difficult, and now we'll see if they can make it less difficult on themselves on this drive. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Now make that tackle. Into the hands of his tight All right, so what do we got? Third and what? Third and three. Third and three. They're coming out. They're coming out with three wide. Three wide receivers. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Ah. Finding Knox there, complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up. Okay. 45. 15 yards that time. And a let's try a little, uh, let's see. Let's go. Like this, what the heck am I doing? One man to bring Concept. Oftentimes your best bet. Just Don't blitz 3D. And wait for your teammates to arrive. To help get him on the ground. I've not really done that this uh, so far this season, but we'll give it a shot. I've been playing mostly uh, mostly uh, cover one and cover three. Okay. 
And he's out of bounds as he gets oh, this down okay. to 45. We didn't need to ask around. Yeah, I don't know if I... That, yeah, that was dumb. I don't want to be in a 3-4. See if we can get some pressure on him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. Throwing again on second oh. down. Allen firing quickly here, and that's complete. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. This offense... What is happening? Down. Here's another first and ten. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. It's a pickup of 17 on that one. And it's first down. That's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. Yeah! Get up, Fitzpatrick! Picked up by the all-pro safety, Mika Fitzpatrick. The 40, 20, 10, and he brings Yeah, that's how we beat them, because uh, we're going to need those turnovers. Mika Fitzpatrick, thinking back to last year, had a pick six for the Steelers shortly after coming over from Miami, and he steps up with another one here. We're giving them the ball back here with a minute four. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the So that was a blitz. But then returning it to uh, got a little pressure on him. And uh, you know, maybe that made him make a worse throw, I hope. I don't know. Pick six, and now the kick is away. Taken about seven yards deep. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the twenty-five. Oh, let's go. Back here. And this, let's face it, an important drive. Number three. We're going to get back into this ball game. Think about going into the locker room down 21 to 10 as opposed to 21 to 3. 21 to 10, a little more optimism, a little more bounce around the locker room, a little more discussion about how to right. finish this thing off. All right, all right. 21 to 3. I think discouragement clouds that locker room. Yeah, and I think a touchdown much bigger than a field goal on this drive just to get into the end zone and get that momentum. Mm, okay. Looking to throw again on second down. Allen, and that is Break it up. Complete. A lot of All right, let's see. They're going nickel. Or they're going on three wide. So we're going to go nickel. Don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Dang it. And he completes it to the tight end, Knox. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. As the clock shows 50 Let's seconds go. to play here in half number one. A little bit different formation here. First and ten here. A little bit different lineup. They just get three out of this. There's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. I don't like having uh, Dupree. What happened? What happened? No! Oh, no. Who was the rougher? Fitzpatrick. Well, you... I mean... I guess we'll let that one go. I mean, he did intercept a pass and score a touchdown. So, you know. But that's not good. You just can't do it. It costs your team. Every time they switch, I switch. And they figure whatever they're in, they think uh, they think that they cannot beat what I'm in. So they're going to switch to something that they do think they can beat me in, which means I need to switch to anything else. And if they switch, I switch back. Okay? So I'm going to switch to a blitz. And they're switching back. I'm going to go back to cover three. To throw again uh. second down. Allen, and he will find his man on the end route. Okay. Now the Bills yeah, so none of that mattered, basically. <laughs> none of that really mattered. Let's see, we're going to go nickel. We're going to go... Uh, mm, I guess we'll go quarters. We'll go quarters on a short field. And a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Again, they'll throw with Allen. This will be caught just inside. All right. The and he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. Let's go. Three yards the game there. Second. Three, down. four quarters. All 
all defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out, oh, yeah, field, yeah, yeah. it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting and they stopped him for a minimal gain. They shake some off. Oh, come on, get him. Good lord. Are you kidding me? For a Bills touchdown. Are you kidding me? His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Bills cut into that lead. Uh, well. Until that late score here in the second quarter, they only have the field goal. So that's just big. To so see he just shrugs off a 300 pound. Uh, I don't even know who that was. I don't know if that was a linebacker or a defensive uh, tackle. As they head into the half, you know, <sighs> his head coach, what? I tell my team to sprint to the locker room to show All right, we've well, the momentum and show that we're ready. That's the kind of game we got today. Let's go, Ray Ray. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line. And we're just gonna run the ball here. James Conner and the Steelers ready to get their next drive going. A thousand going to run the ball and take it into halftime. Charles, but needs a little bit of a kick here down the stretch to reach it. And sometimes at this stage of the season, you're looking for that extra goal, right? That extra motivation to accomplish what you want, not just as a team, but as individuals. Don't time out and run the ball again. Stretch a little bit to get there. That might be what they're talking about during the practice sessions in their meetings. I feel like McFarland is going to break one of these one of these days. And I'm sure they're well aware of where he stands as well. They are, and I think for them, it would be an even better... Not that one, though. All right, let's take it into the half. Get a little sip of coffee. It'll be second down. So we have for my throat. Hey, if you're enjoying the game, I hope you are. Uh, think about subscribing to the channel. Uh, this is a brand new channel. I'm going to be playing uh, sports games uh, like Madden 21. I'm going to be doing uh, survival games, uh, adventure stuff, uh, sim type games. Um, yeah, so subscribe, give it a like maybe. Uh, but whatever you do, I'm just happy you're here. Hope you're having a good time. Hope you're having a good day. Stay there, Ray Ray. All right, let's get down the field and get another touchdown. Let's do that. Now with the football first here to begin the third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice My passing game is a little uh be prepared for some change ups non existent when we kick it off in the second half. Maybe that has something to do with that might be made defensively. Smith Schuster uh, in a different spot. But I think I am trying to run the ball more, so. Alright. Yeah, McFarland has nine carries. Uh, Connor has a bunch of carries. Get this first down. Having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but. All right. I don't want to try anything dumb. I am tempted to try something dumb right now. It would be nice to get a... Uh... Oops. It would be nice to get a quick touchdown here and uh, start grinding the ball. Oh, man. Okay. It certainly didn't appear that that's okay. the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. We're going to go empty tray stack. We're going to go smash seam. Try again from the 36 on so I'm looking two. for McDonald down the middle and McFarland, or I'm, uh, Johnson underneath. Johnson been quiet this game. No. Nope. The Boy, they are all over my crossing routes. All over them. And of the 42 yard line here and brought down there. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Good oh boy, what do I want here? I like the route, the drag, and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. All right. 
They face a third and four after that last All conversion. right, let's convert this. Here's Roethlisberger to throw. Yeah, I don't like any of that. Yeah, what I've been doing, what I've been doing uh, the past few games is uh, when I get a look like that and I see the, the uh, outside uh, defensive back, the corner, uh, like taking that flat and it takes the uh, it takes the crossing guy a little too long uh, to clear the linebacker. Oh no, what is this? Are you kidding? Yeah, so I'm waiting too long for him to clear the linebacker and I'm throwing the ball straight into that to that corner and it's getting intercepted. But this isn't good. What is this? Oh my goodness. I feel like uh, this game wants the Bills to win today. They'll run on first down with Singletary. Hmm. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. All right. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very Oh, I hate, I hate playing these zones. got six, now second and four. Here's Allen. The screen. He's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. It'll be a pickup of just yeah, Allen's killing us. Here, it's third down. He's killing us, man. So things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things. And hold it oh, okay. Did he get that? It looks like he's short. Yeah, he will be very close to a first down, but I see and are they going to kick a field goal? They are. All right. So after that punt return. Kind of nice to hold them to a field goal, I guess. Half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe it'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. So unable to convert from the okay. inside the red zone, but they do come away with three. Yeah, it's a 32-yarder. That's essentially an extra point nowadays, right? Because it's 33 as a general rule. For so they're within one score now. But you know what's really strange nowadays? When they miss an extra point, I think they carry that with them long. We cannot let this stand. Field goal because an extra point's supposed to be automatic. Yeah, absolutely, and I would think even field goals inside of 30 yards, even though they're substantially shorter than a PAT, it, it just has a different feel, doesn't it? A different it? feel, a different vibe. That's what I get from all the kickers I talk to. They always say, if I miss an extra point... Oh, let's try a little... Tremaine Edmonds, the Bills' leading tackler in 2019, in on the stop. What do I want to try? Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the... Try to steal across. Whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take... Oh, this play looks ugly. I don't like... I don't know if I like this. Let's see what happens. From the 29. Yeah. Flushed out right. Open man right side is All the right. Let's get this first down. Okay, so they gave up the Come on, Filer. Take care of that guy. How the stayed in sync, stayed in great Go, and Connor. You see him pointing, so Connor's having a good game uh, coming off the bench. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was hey, whatever. Whatever works. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense, because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Right back to Connor here on first. Don't fumble, Connor, please. quite to the 35. Another nice gain, 13 yards yeah. that time and another first. Yeah, he's uh, doing better than he's been doing. Give a little credit here because um, playing this game now. Maybe he is motivated. This is ball control football. Sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. They'll run on first down. All right. He's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. 
with the end of all that hitting and hollering. It was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to Huddle feel pretty good. Well, well, let's go back to Connor. He's a... You have to feel okay because you didn't... Connor, Connor is the uh, hot back Shut it down today. Yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. On second down, it's Connor. Yeah. Close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 27. Seven yards there at a first down. How's he looking? He's all right. Keep him in there. Oh, what is this? No, they want me to call. I am not going to call a slant. I am running this ball. Oh, no, wait. We're going to go to the, the end of the quarter. That's even better. That's even better. They uh, were taunting me to uh, audible to something I might regret doing. Here's Connor. All right. Two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. So we're doing it on the ground today. Whatever it takes, man. Three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. On the ground, it's McFarland. Ah. And he stopped immediately there. So what do we got? Third and two? But officially they'll be left with a third and two. All right. Obviously that's some good work there. We're going to trust in the guy that's been carrying us so far this game. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity because I know a defensive guy is taking right. Nicky got it. Stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said Keith. And he looks like he's still feeling good. Let's go a little single back here. No, I don't want. You know what? <laughs> I was uh, I was excited to get McFarland in there this game, and now I'm looking at plays where he's like the the uh, the guy getting the ball, and I'm like, yeah, you know what? I think I want to stick with Connor. Here's Connor. Down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Until he gets tired. Three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. How's he looking? He's still looking good. Let's go with a dive. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Now Ben gonna give this one to Connor. And he's dropped just before the All right. game. Four yard pickup leaves him third and inches. Ball. Guess who's getting the ball? Pretty good job defensively. Actually, he's gonna get it, but they knew where they actually, were, so they stopped him just short of it. I think what Snell's getting the ball because uh, Connor's looking a little football. tired there. And situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understands. All right, Snell, don't make me don't make me regret putting you in there, man. Try to run for it with Snell. Think he got it. And he won't be close to a first down. He won't be. What do you mean? What do we do? I think we're putting this thing away. Like this is, this is one of those. Uh, like, is this a good decision moments? And uh, I don't know. We'll find out. History will judge if this was a good idea. Yeah, I think it was. James Conner. With his second touchdown of the game. Yeah, well, he is stepping up. I'll tell you what. Steelers find a way to stretch the uh, lead. He certainly I was really expecting uh, to be looking to McFarland on the ground this game. Yeah, we haven't been throwing the ball much, but with Connor playing like that, I mean, why bother? Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. This will make it into the end zone, and this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. All right, five minutes. Come the Bills as we take a look at the playoff race in the AFC. What do I want to do? Let's go right to the nickel here. Everything is right to the nickel, cover three, Sky. And I know we always talk about what the playoffs were to be. Not let them get behind us. Okay, but they're not. Let's see how it plays out. Wouldn't it be fun to play with this playoff lineup? Yeah, we'll give you that. Keep that clock ticking. Can win this whole thing out of this grouping we currently have, and by the time we get there, it may look entirely different. They'll come up now, second and four. Oh uh, yeah, I'm not switching out of this. You know what? Yeah, I'm not. To the air, Allen. Screen. Set up the screen. It's complete. 
And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. That play uh, that Allen made before, where he shrugged the guy off and threw a touchdown pass was just ridiculous. I mean, not ridiculous, like sort of ridiculous in a way that I'm like, how does that happen in this game? But uh, kind of cool to watch is in, in, the, in that kind of ridiculous way. No, what happened there? Fourth and one, they got to go for it, right? They got to. Uh, Will Buck three press. All right. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Let's not get beat ridiculously here somehow. Ah, there we go. Sit down. We're going to go uh, two clock. Guess who getting the ball? We're throwing deep. That's probably a bad idea. Able to break through that initial contact and winds up getting about three there. So James Conner had a big day today. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games and at the start of the fourth quarter. Answering some question marks uh, put forth by the coaching staff. You saw the four fingers for four coaching staff being me. This offensive line has really hunkered down and established himself. Oh, that was a bad cut. The game on our shoulders will lead the way, right? No doubt about it. Okay. So I think we could take this down to the two minute warning here if we run once more. Have a little vision and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. And the Steelers on third Unless they call a timeout, of course, after this play. To this point. Here it's third and three. They'll try and run four with Kelly. Yeah, there we go. Oh, no. What's the flag? Five, but the flags fly. Oh, the guys. Come, Come on, what? He was trying to clear the way, the big fullback. Instead, he gets a hole. That's okay. That's okay. I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. And that will still maybe take us to the two-minute warning. I mean, we're probably not going to get this, but we're going to kick the field goal. I hope. Yeah, that's all right. Are they going to take a timeout? The 50-yard field goal. I think I can kick a 50-yard field goal. Despite seeing the multiple tight end I think we're going to find out if I can kick a 50-yard field goal. But I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, All right. Way, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one by 50-yard field goal in Buffalo in December. To play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Steelers with the football as let's we go. get to reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And this will split the up All right. right yeah, my field goal kicking's come and along this season. Uh, I've been talking about how terrible it is, but it's been okay. Maybe I should not say that out loud uh, in case we have a game coming down to it later in the season. Uh, I may regret saying my field goal kicking is uh, getting better. Don't go away. Miracles can happen. And you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Okay. The lane opens here. He's past the third. So let's go. Uh, I don't know. Let's go dime. Dime will. They're down big here late. And cover four drop. Just one last drive here for Pride. Some people like to do that. I mean, wow, well, it was a weird game. Huge. It's almost a like, coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something. Not much in the way of passing on our part. But a surprise reemergence of James Conner. Happy to see it. I can put my defensive cap on right now. Don't give up any big plays. Excuse me. So I think he has earned his way back into the. Uh, the number one halfback spot. 
last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react oh, as well as you should on other throws. No, he almost had it. Already with one interception, just missing his They've got three timeouts. Throwing his Allen on third. What is going on? Somebody get in there. Come on. He's going to let it fly. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> now, I, uh, I, I don't even know what to say about that one. I clicked onto the, the corner. I pressed the catch the ball button. You got to understand situational football. But he did not want to catch the ball. Here late in the ball game. So the back defender All right. has got to be as deep as the deepest receiver. Uh, so this Allen guy is obviously a Hall of Famer. I mean, I don't know why you would think they had the three uh, even uh, make him wait till he retires at this point. But they wouldn't give up a big pass play like that, but they did. So two scores down, time down. All right, let's get this ball. But here comes the onside kick. And this doesn't yes. work. The Steelers recover. Ball down. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. Oh. <laughs> we knew even before they put the, the toe to the now, are they going to... Let's of see if they're going to call timeouts. I hope... I mean, I hope... I'm, I'm assuming they will. I don't know. Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. On first and ten is counter. Yeah, they're going to use their timeouts. So I'm going to keep running the ball here. Timeouts. As he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Come on, Connor, put it away. It's your big day, man. Six. Again, a run with Connor. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. I don't know how many yards. He's got most of that 162 rushing yards. Uh, I think we can, yeah, let's run it once more. We're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll be tackled at the 23. Okay, so that's their last timeout. What down is it? Second down. We're going to, uh, let's see what our coaches want us to do. Coaches say take a knee. Three yards on that last We're going to get out of Buffalo seven. with a win. Uh, and the knee is taken for the Steelers out of the victory formation. Yep. So that's a win we uh, desperately needed there after the past few weeks. Uh, losing to some... Uh, and, you know, I don't quite understand what's going on with this team this year. You know, we've got three losses... We beat teams like Buffalo. At one team, we beat uh, three under three or four undefeated teams in a row, and uh, then we lose to uh, the three and eight uh, Washington football team and the Owen oh, whatever they were at the time, uh, Cincinnati Bengals. <laughs> but we got the win here today. Let's take a look. I don't know about switching on Claypool and Smith Schuster. I don't know. I don't think I like that choice. I think I am moving them back. I think I'm moving all my pieces back where they were before this game. Um, yeah, but we got the win. Uh, 53 passing yards. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. But we didn't throw any interceptions. Uh, I think Ben had a pretty good completion percentage. Uh, 163 yards on the ground. That is the story of the game. Yeah, oh no, Ben had a horrible completion percentage too. So not a good day for Ben. Oh, uh, Josh Allen. Uh, absolutely one berserk. I guess we had an interception. That was good. Uh, that was a that was a big play. That Fitzpatrick interception. But yeah, Connor Connor is the story of the game here. I think. 22 carries, 127 yards, two scores, uh, 5.7 yards per carry. Uh, McFarland did not uh, did not uh, prove to be the guy. So uh, James Conner, you're getting your starting spot back. Yeah, our abysmal uh, receiving stats and defensively, let's see, no sacks, one interception. Yeah, so that's about the size of it. We are, what are we now? We are 10-3. and three. See what happened with Cleveland. 
See what happened with, uh, it's like Kansas City, Indianapolis, and Cleveland. Uh, we just beat Buffalo, so that's good. So uh, the season's coming down to it. Uh, see where we end up in the playoffs. Uh, but thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the game. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, hitting that like button, please. It's a brand new channel. I appreciate it if you could uh, do either of those things. But whatever you choose to do, I hope you have a great day. And uh, I'll see you next game.